Now, today's lab is the introduction to microwind layout design of a CMOS inverter. Uh, objective of this lab is to manually design the mask layout of a CMOS inverter, to check the design for C, uh, design rule error, to check the functionality of the inverter using simulation uh, with built-in simulator, to uh, extract the netlist from the inverter layout for sprites and perform simulation. Okay. So basically, we will be doing the mask layout. What is mask layout actually? Now, in our lab number, uh, in in our uh, introduction of the VLSA uh, VLSA course, uh, we have seen these. VLSA intro. We have seen something like this, right? We have seen something like this as well. So, have you seen the core i7? No, not yet. Okay, this is the uh, ASIC uh, application specific integrated circuit, the mask layout. This is the mask layout of Pentium. Okay, so let's see the mask layout of um, what is that? The Core i7 or something like that, the better one. Core i7 mask. Okay, layout. Okay, this is the mask layout of Core i7. You can see there are four cores. One, two, three, four. Similar type of things. Okay, these are actually cores. So here you can see this is the, um, maybe this is Core i7 or no, maybe not. This is AMD, not uh, Intel Core i7. This is AMD. Why is Core i7? Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, here is Core i7. This is Core i7, and then this is Core i5, or maybe Core i7, I do not know, because nothing is written here. Nobody will understand what it is. So here you have four cores. One, two, three, four. Four cores. Here you have uh, input-output panel. Here you have cache. Cache means shared L3 cache, level 3 cache. This is DRAM. Those are actually, no, no, this is actually SRAM, okay? SRAM. Remember SRAM? Cache memory. This is your memory controller. Memory controller means this will be control. This will be controlling the RAMs, all the RAMs. Here you have PCIe. PCIe means uh, you might have a graphics card. You might have a uh, SSD. Okay, the NVMe SSD. Those will be controlled by these. That's why uh, SSDs are much faster than HDD hard disks because. SSD are directly connected to your, um, what is that, um, your CPU, especially the NVMe SSD, the PCIe, PCIe NVMe SSD, those are actually much, much, much faster than your normal SSD and a lot faster than your SSD or hard disk. Why? Because those are actually directly connected to your CPU. That's why. So this is the mask layout of uh, your CPU. Now, what is a mask layout? Mask layout is a design that is that has been transferred to a wafer like this. This is a wafer, okay? This is a piece of wafer. Here you can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can count a lot of a lot of uh, ICs are here. So what is a wafer? Let's see. What is a wafer? Wafer. These are actually a piece of wafer. Silicon wafer, right? Yeah, this is a piece of wafer. Um, normally, it looks like this, like some rainbow colors are there. So there, you can see some designs, right? Some designs, you can see some designs. Here, this is a wafer, close up wafer. This is also a wafer. Here, you can see some designs, right? Because there are multiple ICs are there, multiple ICs. Now, obviously, uh, This part are useless. This means that the corner parts are useless. The middle section is your one IC. This is one IC. Okay. Now, how these are actually made? How these are made? These are your silicon based wafer. That means uh, in the silicon. Um, okay, wait a second. Normally, the silicon are melted, melted in a pot. Then they are. Uh, 
they formed a crystal. Then those crystal are cut with lasers. Then that uh, that cut section, that means some uh, some sort of like some something like this. Those cut section will be printed with the mask layout. Okay, mm -hmm. but so what happened? So th th there will be a, a very big topic called lithography. We will learn that later. Yes. We will learn that later. And this, by this process, your design, that means the design you are making in the computer, that is the mask layout, will be transferred to the wafer, okay? So today we will be doing that layout, layout design, mask layout design, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Now, here, do not need it. So today we will be doing the layout design of a CMOS inverter. So that is the simplest one. Now, there are two two methods of designing mask layout. Number one is uh, manual design. Number two is automated design. And in your future life, if you work with VLSI, and in 100% time, you will be working with automated design, okay? You just write some codes, you shall write some circuits, and the design will be automatically made. Got my point? Yes, sir. But today we will be, for sake of uh, learning, we will be doing the manual designing. See here it is written to manually design the mask layout. Manual designs uh, have some problems. The problems are the outputs are not that good. Um, the process is very long and the, the error, the number of error are bigger, but yet we have to learn it, the manually design. Okay. Now, this is what, this is actually your CMOS inverter, but actually how a CMOS inverter looks like, or a CMOS inverter looks like in real life, how it is made. A CMOS inverter is made like this. What do you take? At first you take, at first you take a wafer, a piece of wafer, that is actually what, that is actually P-type. Then you take, some n type material then you take another one this is n type or oh, before oh no 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 before that uh, you must make a what before that you must make a well <laughs> no not a well because this is p type so i'm going to write it here this is p type material This is n type. This is also n type. I'm going to write. This is n plus. That means the uh, concentration of electrons are more. Mm -hmm. That's why there are three uh, three types of uh, doping. One is n minus. That is very lightly doped, mediumly doped, heavily doped. Heavily doped. Okay, like this one as well. P minus, P, P plus. Normally, this body are P minus or normal P, okay? But okay. this gate and drains are heavily doped. So this is N plus, this is also N plus. Then what are you going to do? You are going to take a N well, that means N type material, a big well of N type, okay? Then what you do? You take this is p type uh, this is p type in the p type you make n mos this is n type in the n type you will make okay what do you do actually let's say this is a garden okay the whole thing is a garden the soil of the garden is normal soil okay there you plant two trees those are fine but you want to plant two different types of tree uh, on that what um, uh, on that garden. So what do you do? So normally your soil will not allow to grow those tree. So what you did? You dug a very big hole. Then you fill the hole with some different type of uh, soil. Let's say a soil from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then. You plant the dead tree. Do you know dead tree? Yes. The dead we eat. 
so this is the dead tree so this is a your garden but the soil is different so here i'm going to do this i'm going to do this this is n type this is c plus this is c plus okay so this is actually what this is actually your um, uh, mosfet structure on top of it you must what you must give a you must give a what you must give a silicon dioxide polysilicon okay silicon dioxide this is your get on top of it you must give a what see they, they are overlap right see, they are overlapping can you see that yes they are overlapping so this is you must give silicon dioxide on top of it you must give what you must give uh, metal why metal is needed needed for connection for connection obviously this is this is for get connection this is for drain connection this is for what source source a source connection this is source connection okay this one now here let's call this is your source this is your drain this is your drain this is your source okay right mm -hmm. we know our source and source they are what connected they are connected no no our drain and drain they are connected and again our gate and gate gate and gate are also connected mm -hmm. right our gate and gate are also connected so you can connect them like this as well or you can do another thing you can take the polysilicon big enough because these are your common common gate right mm -hmm. you take your uh, drain the take your gate or polysilicon silicon dioxide big enough so that the they can touch each other then you can add a metal here okay so here which one is which this is your i'm going to write this is your source mm -hmm. for pmos mm -hmm. this is your source for nmos mm -hmm. this is your drain, drain for, for common common mm -hmm. drain from where you will take your output right mm -hmm. because this is your uh, actual circuit See, your common gate is your input your common drain is your output right so from mm -hmm. here you will take your output this is your common gate from here you will take your uh, you will give your input right here you will give your input now where you will give your vdd this is source drain drain source right where you will give your vdd remember this is p type material this is pmos not p type pmos so here you will give give your what No, not ground. This is VDD. Here you will give your ground, right? Mm -hmm. Understand? Understand? Yes, sir. So this is actually structure of your uh, CMOS inverter. Now there is one more thing you have to consider. That is your uh, your body is your body is connected to what? Your body is connected to source, right? Source. Okay. So which one is body of CMOS? this is the body of pmos the the blue color so it should be connected to source but since you cannot connect it to the source what do you do you give a vdd here okay you give a vdd here and since your nmos so uh, body is connected to source which one is the body of nmos the whole yellow color is the body of your nmos you give a ground that means what this thing and this thing are connected this thing and this thing are connected right so this is this is what you do i'm going to uh, if you if you have finish i'm going to delete this and we are going to jump into the lab software now here manual design there is a step by step process uh, written there but i'm not going to read all of those and i'm going to show you those okay so if you see the video later you can do it by yourself and if you if you if you feel lost you can read those and you can gain some knowledge okay okay sir so i'm going to do that uh, pay pay your attention but before going there let's do something else okay 17 of you are here 17 person right yes sir okay So I'm going to give you an attendance. Remember, these attendance uh, are mandatory for university region and the UGC region. Okay, the government region, not for not for me. 
because I'm going to give you mark depending on your exam and depending on your performance, not a, not uh, not depending on your attendance. Why not? Because you are actually uh, using your own money to buy data, buy internet, mm -hmm. right? And taking the class. If you are facing some problem with your internet, that is none of your problem. That is the problem of your maybe maybe lack. So that's why your mark doesn't depend on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today is 18, uh, attendance time of this one, and okay, this is VLSA laboratory. Okay, now roll number one, present. Roll number two. Roll number three. Roll number four. Yes, sir. Roll number five. Six, little Mia. Seven. Yes, sir. Nine. Nine. Uh, mm -hmm. Rahid. Okay. Roll number eleven. Roll number twelve. Yes, sir. Roll number thirteen. Abdul Rahman Adan Hatsi. Roll number fourteen. Abbas. Yes, sir. Roll number fifteen. Ridwan. Roll number sixteen. Shakil. Yes, yes, sir. Roll thirteen. Roll. Thirteen. Abdul Rahman. Oh, thirteen. Roll number eighteen. Mijanul Rahman. Roll number nineteen. Shawn. Roll number twenty. Nazifa. Roll number twenty-one. Bashir. Okay, twenty-two. Muhammad Usman. Twenty-three. Ayub. Twenty-four. Mahad. 25, Mohammed. 26, Abdullahi uh, Shire. Or uh, maybe I may make mistake. 27. 28. 29. 30. 31. 32. 33. 34. Yes, sir. 34. Yes, sir. Okay. 35, 32. 32. 35. 36. Yes, sir. 37. 38. 39. 40. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. 40. 40. Yes, sir. 39. Yes, 39. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 41. 42, 43, yes, sir. 43, yes, sir. 44, 45, yes, sir. 46, 48, 49, yes, sir. Okay. 50, 51, 52, That's yes, sir. Okay. Now this is this is uh, I'm saving it for as a draft. If anyone comes in, I will edit those as well. Okay, now let's start. So all of you go mute. If you need to talk, you can unmute. Now, uh, I need the software. We, we, what, what software? I have given you three softwares, right? So I need the middle one, that means the, the micro wind. So here, this is the micro wind. So how I am going to do it, remember the first step. The first step, remember, do not forget this. First step, after, of, uh, after opening this, you go to file, click select foundry. Select foundry. From here, you have different rules. Those are actually rule file, rule. Rule means different design rules. Here, CMOS 06, 08, 12, 12, 32 nano, 35, 34, uh, 45 nano, 65 nano, 90 nano. So I'm going to select, select 90 nano because all my calculations are shown here. All the calculations, all the calculations are shown here are done for 90. Okay. So I'm going to select 90. If, if you do not select 90, you will face problem. I see I have select 90. Then I have to make the, uh, this dot. Can you see some dots? Those dots bigger and smaller. Okay. This is bigger. 
So you might be starting, okay. So you might start with something like this, five lambda, or you might start with something like this, 10 lambda, remember. So you have to make it one lambda, one lambda, remember. Here, okay, let me give you, let me show you some magnification. Can you see this 10 lambda? Yes, sir. Here it is written 10 lambda, right? So what you have to do, you have to make it one lambda. How can you do that? You have to zoom in. Click zoom, click here. Click zoom, click here, click here, click here. This is one lambda, right? Mm -hmm. So here we should stop. You don't need it. So you must have one lambda, otherwise you cannot calculate. Now you can see, magnifier, you can see some dots are bigger. Can you see? Some, uh, some dots are bigger. This one is bigger. This one is bigger. This one is bigger, right? Some dots are bigger. So why? Because they are 10 dots away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, this one is bigger, right? So 10 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are actually 10 dots away. So here, this will be necessary for calculation. So you will be uh, you will be awarded with some advantages when uh, when you design something, and that time you, this will help you to count. Now I need what? At first I need uh, a area for PMOS that means drain and source for PMOS and NMOS. Now I'm going to design the PMOS first. See, this is the PMOS. Here you can see there is a pellet, right? Mm -hmm. This is a pellet. So this pellet has a lot of things like N well, N diffusion, P diffusion, polysilicon contact, polysilicon 2, metal 1, metal 2, metal 3, and VDD, uh, high power VDD, that means high voltage VDD, ground. Uh, this is pulse, that means clock. Mm. <laughs> this is a node, node means output. Here you have contact, contact, a lot of things. But at first, what do we need? One is P, we need P diffusion. This is P. Okay? Yes, sir. What are we going to take? We are going to take here uh, 10, 10 by 10, not 10 by 10 actually. We need 14 by 10. No, 14 by 12. So 11. So this one is 10, right? Because this is one seg segment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. Then here we need 12. 1, 2, this is 12. Okay? So why we need 14 and 12? Because now I am considering 2 is to 1 ratio. That is 2 for PMOS. That means this is WP. 1 for NMOS. This is WN. You can mm -hmm. use 3 is to 1 as well. Okay? Okay. Now, 1 means 6 lambda. Lambda means what? Here, can you see some lambda? Mm -hmm. Lambda means one segment. One segment means one lambda. Two segment means two lambda. Three lambda. Four lambda. Five lambda. Six lambda. Understand? Mm -hmm. One means six lambda. How much is two? One means six lambda. How much is two? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve lambda. That's why the, he, this is twelve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, why the length is 14? Why the length is 14 lambda? I will explain. No problem. Do not worry. Then I need what? Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can use arrow to go navigate, right? You can use mm -hmm. arrow of your keyboard. Now I need PMOS. I need NMOS. This is N diffusion. Now here, you give a gap of 12. One. At least 12, at least. You can give more, but at least 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is the gap. So I'm going to draw it just below it. So how much? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then here, how much? 14. This is 14. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here you can see this matches. 
these matches, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the gap should be at least 12, at least, at least I say. This one must be six. Six. Okay. The length, how much? 13. I told you earlier, we will not vary the length, right? We will only vary the width. This is the width. This is the W. And this is the L. L remain fixed always. Right? Mm -hmm. This is 14. This is, uh, no, no, this is 12 actually, not 14. This is 12. So this is 14. This is also 14. 14. Okay. Now what? Now, now at the middle, we need uh, some contact. Now, for P MOS, we need P contact. For N MOS, we need N contact. So why is P contact? This is P contact, the middle one, the P contact. Can you see? Contact P plus metal. Okay, let's zoom. So whenever I come here, look, look at the writing. Contact P plus metal one, right? Yes, Can you see that? Metal one. So this is this contact is for metal one and P MOS. That means P type. P type and metal one. What about this? Contact N plus and metal one, right? Mm -hmm. That means this contact is for metal one and N plus. This contact is what? No. This contact is what? Metal one and metal two. Metal two. This contact is what? Poly and metal. This one is what? Metal and metal two. Metal two. That means any metal and metal two. Okay. So I need P. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to come here. Can you see? This is four by four. This mm -hmm. one is four by four. Four lambda by four lambda. I'm going to place it by giving a gap and at the middle, roughly at the middle. So one lambda gap. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to give a one lambda gap, one lambda. Okay? Mm -hmm. I need another one. Click, come here. And again, I will try to match it. And I will give one lambda gap from the left. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Okay. Now for N mod, I need N N. I'm going to come, bring it. Oh, no, no. So I made a mistake, so I, I, I have to uh, delete it. So I will click the gun. Delete, delete, delete. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to select this one again. Bring it. Place it here. Place it here. Now you can see why I have taken at six lambda, right? Now you have seen uh, why I have taken six lambda because this is this thing is four lambda. Yes. This thing is four lambda, right? So you have to give a one space, one space. That's why this should be six. So why this is 14? Because you have to give one, you have to take four, uh, four, you have to take four, you have to take one. So 10 is gone, right? So you have to give how much? You have to four. give four gap. If four you do gap. not give four gap, they will give you, give you an error. Okay? And we have to do something at the middle as well. That's why we have we have taken 14. So at least 14. You can take 16. You can take 20. No problem. But it should be 14 at least. Okay. Minimum. minimum. I am doing all the minimum Sir, design. Yeah. Is it BMOS and NMOS uh, length? Is it uh, fixed or you can adjust it anytime? Uh, no. The, the length uh, we should keep them fixed because we have already shown you the sizing. Right? No. Um, yes, L will be fixed, but N MOS and B MOS is always uh, four. Which one? The gap, right? This gap. No, the the the, the hole. Con the contact. N MOS. The contact, yes. Yeah, contact is always four. Here is four. For 19 nano is four. Remember, I select 19 nano. Yes. For 19 nano, it is four. For 16 nano, maybe it is different. Now what? Now we need uh, we need a poly silicon. We need a poly silicon to work with. Poly silicon means our get. We will select the poly silicon one. This, that means this one. I will. I will select poly silicon from at the middle. Like this. Okay. 
so here the catch is remember the polysilicon must be must be at least two lambda y two lambda this can be three lambda four lambda five lambda no problem but it must be what it must be two lambda width okay okay my dear this is this should be two two lambda at least this should be two lambda okay i'm going to select a different color this should be two lambda two okay and there should be a gap one lambda gap one lambda gap okay that's why it is 14 why because you have one four one two one four one so how much one plus four five six six eight nine thirteen fourteen fourteen so that's why the gap the length is fourteen understood one more very important thing here you must give a, an extra of three lambda here you must give an extra of three lambda here you must give an extra of three lambda but i have given two lambda right so to show you there will be an error remember there will be an error if you click drc here the drc design rule checker okay if you click drc there will be an error. Can you see some error? Yes. They say it must be three lambda. three lambda. So if I if I fix the error, how can I fix the error? I can fix the error by using the stress or move. This this one. Stress or move. You can click this line. I can, you can move. You can, you can actually stress something. Or you, if you click this, you can make it bigger. If you click this line, you can make it smaller. <coughs> you want to make it bigger. You click this line, you can make it bigger. Okay? <coughs> you want to make it smaller. Do not click this. Because if you click this, it will go up. Okay? So you have to click this. It will come down. Okay. So this is how you can fix it. Now, not done. We are not done yet. We have to give a... So remember, by default, by default, you have this, this black screen. This black screen is P type. Okay? Your black screen is by default what? P type. Remember, we took a P type material, then we dug a hole to put some soil, to put some end type. Remember? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we will do the same thing but with n well this is the n well so n well must be here must be six by six that means extra will be six 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 and six extra so one two three four five six one two three four five six this is your n well so this is your n now this is your n region okay in the n region you have your p mos now we have we should have done it earlier we should have done this before designing the pmos but if you do that can you see you cannot see any more dots you cannot see dots right so that's yes. why we have done it later nothing no, no problem because the designer will design it earlier as well designer will execute this earlier so whether you design it later or uh, you design it earlier doesn't matter now what your your structure is ready now you have to select the drain and source which one is drain which one is source let's say this is your source this is your drain this is your drain this is your source mm -hmm. now i told you oh by the way which one is your gate this is the red one is your gate, gate. the common gate right mm -hmm. i told you earlier that your drain and drain must be what common must be connected with must be connected with metal, right? Yes. So we select metal one. We are going to connect this like this. So the metal should be at least three lambda, at least. At least how much? Three lambda. Three lambda. But how much I have taken? One, two, three, three four. four. Okay, no problem. I have taken four, but okay, no problem. But remember, metal to metal gap should be four lambda, four. 
here how much gap we have metal to metal 1 2 1 so how much 4 so gap is okay if the gap is smaller then there should be some 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 error now if i check the design rule no error found can you see no error if there was some error you could have seen that now now what your structure is ready now we have to give the input output grid all those things now which one is your which one is your end most source this one is your end most source right you have to give your source here which one is your p most uh, source this one is your p most source here you must give your what gdd which one is your uh, gate this is your gate here you should give your input which one is your um, output the drain to drain is your output so here you you will give your output right mm -hmm. okay now here you can take a big wire and give the uh, ground or you can give the ground here here you can take a big wire out metal out and give the vdd or you can give the vdd here okay your wish now you can do this metal one now give your uh, vdd here okay take it out give your ground here you can do it or if you wish you can give your vdd here and you can give your ground here directly here no problem so where is your ground this is your ground <laughs> i'm going to give the ground here vss where is your vdd this is the vdd i'm going to give the vdd here this vdd is 1.2 just make it 5 okay this is 5 volt so make it 5 i need one more vdd in the end mos uh, in the end well remember i told you the source and the body are connected so how can we make them connected you can give the uh, you, you can give the vdd this is 5 volt this black screen however is p type and already grounded so you do not have to give any ground <coughs> now the input which one is your input add a clock this one is your input the middle one i'm going to come and give it here you see the reason why the uh, why the polysilicon is uh, what is uh, two segment right two lambda why mm. because this is two lambda so if you put it here So it can cover. If it is one lambda, what will happen? Something like that, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give it here, somewhere here. You can give it here as well. You can give it here as well. But I like to give it here. So here, let's name it with A. Let's give the voltage five volt. That means the highest voltage five volt, the lowest voltage zero volt, and the timing is okay. No problem. That's fine. Now I need to give. I need to show. See, I need to see the output. So last one, this one, visible nodes. I'll go and click it here. I will name it as Y. Okay. So this is my not get. So let's see the output. Okay. Before that, let's check any error or not. Is there any error or not? No error. So I'm going to run it. This is your output. Okay. Let's select two nanoseconds. So this is your input. The green one is your input. The red one is your output, right? So here you can see when your input is one, that time your output is what? Zero. zero. When your input is zero, that time your output is one. One. Okay. That is that is the result of your not get. Okay. By the way, there are some problem with your. uh output as well there are some glitches can you see some mm -hmm. glitches yes sir glitch some glitches are there and the first mm -hmm. segment is not good but the other segments are good yes, so this, this this is the problem with your manual design automatic design will not have this problem automatic design will be very pure okay, okay. this is the problem with your manual design but the output is okay no problem this is how you do the design can you do it can you do it আচ্ছা সবাই এখন প্র্যাকটিস করো ইউ হ্যাভ দ্য সফটওয়্যার অল অফ ইউ প্র্যাকটিস ইট 
and uh, all of you try to make it i'm going to give it like this i'm going to click this no all of you practice okay uh, take 10 minutes and practice because this is necessary take 10 minutes okay abbas <laughs> yes sir okay. take 10 minutes and do it i'm going to stop the recording i'm going to pause the recording and uh, and you do it see here uh, how much the <clears throat> how much your the measurement will be i'm going to write it again you see here yes. this one is 12 right because we are using 2 is to 1 okay. if it was 3 is to 1 it, it would have been 18 mm. now this is 6 okay the whole this one extra 6 6 the extra 6 here as well 6 okay this one here you have 14 the whole length would be 14 this um, extra should be 3 yes this one should be 2 okay my dear understood oh by the way this gap the n well to mosfet gap this gap should be six six as well at least six that's why i have taken 12 remember mm. so six and six that's the 12. you can take more remember you can take more but not less this gap uh, to be in safe side because in in our next labs you will see uh, uh, how many lab class do you have one right one or two mm. One time. One. Okay, no problem. Uh, in the next lab, when you will see that time, we might have to give some more space. Okay. Okay. Now, see, do it.